हाय हाय ओके सम ऑफ यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी हैप्पी विद दिस जस्ट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट बाय सेइंग आई एम गोइंग टू चैनल an archangel today i'm going to do what i want to do for the holiday season tis the season i know there's some famous people that have died recently i know i know today we're going to channel an archangel at least one maybe more than one we'll see what's going to happen i don't know about you where you're at i'm not sure but i know that i could use some angelic presences <laughs> near me right here right now and so Let's get the angel on. All right. So, we're going to bring in Archangel Gabriel, the angel of the Lord, the messenger angel. Archangel Gabriel works with communication and connection. Archangel Gabriel is my like showman. Gabriel's very gold, very yellow. Gabriel is like a spirit guide friend of mine that cannot come through airport security with me because he always makes the things go off. because he wears like this sparkly sequence jacket and i don't know if you know this about airport security but when you're walking through those machines and stuff don't wear sequins you will light up like a christmas tree that's what they told me one time several years ago when i did that you light up like a christmas tree girl she said i was like thank you oh oh you meant the shirt okay So when I talk about angels they are androgynous they are both masculine feminine energy and I personify them and so I personify Gabriel more masculine than feminine and energetic presence it doesn't mean that they're one or the other it means that I personify them so I give them a human trait or characteristic that then I can identify their energy and differentiate their energy from other spirit guides that I have this comes from years 18 years of experience working with angels and then subsequent other types of spirit guides like totem animals saints deities god goddess aspects you name it famous people i've worked with them star energies yes okay i i mean i've been doing this for just a little bit so this is the wisdom that i've gained just from my experience but again to be clear it's only my experience i share from my lensing and your experience could be very different it doesn't mean it's bad or it just means it's different it's just different oftentimes people will see archangels as flickers of light orbs of light like on photographs it's not always dead people you guys it's not always nefarious creepy things it's often times loved ones or archangels <laughs> popping in to see the energy that's like a ball of energy and so um often and i have in my experience a lot of people that i have worked with will see archangel energy specifically as different kind of different colors of light balls of light circles of light so yeah it makes sense right and oftentimes angels will be referred to as a symphony or like a rainbow of colors um and color is super important when you do spiritual work at least for me it is because it's it's color is the language of energy and it helps us to translate into our human brain using our brain the context of of the human reality how spiritual energetic things that are not tangible can be understood better and so there's kind of a code then with the the rainbow of colors that you often will see like with an archangel image for example the different colors can represent different different angels themselves in their aura or the field of energy that's around them or it can also represent the type of, or area or part of your life that they are working with for you so for example if it's green that's typically traditionally speaking the heart chakra the heart space or the energy center of the heart okay and so you've heard me refer to some of those things like chakras and auras and that kind of a thing spirit guides different types of spirit guides in other videos that i've i've shared with you so we're going to channel gabriel it's really easy it's not really it's not even really channeling this i don't know it's just going to be a conversation with him it's really easy to talk to him because he's always with me and sometimes he's very annoying 
right? Super gold energy, very connected to our spirit, our solar plexus, our belly, your intuition often, yeah. Again, communication and connection. Oftentimes angels will have specialty areas. These are the areas that I have worked most often with Archangel Gabriel, okay? But also again, Gabriel can be a communication angel, like as far as helping you to speak your truth or to find your truth, what is true for you. Find your authenticity to, to help you um, be heard, have a voice. Also to write. So for a scribe or a writer, if you have writer's block, Archangel Gabriel is a helpful, helpful one. Or if you're going through a difficult time and you're, you're, um, You've had a falling out with someone in relationship and you want to try to make amends, Gabriel can help you reconnect and then to articulate so that your, your voice will be heard in a way that it can be received most appropriately. Okay. So Gabriel can help you choose your words and words are vibrational. I love that. I have words. I have like three different words tattooed on my body so far. I'm going to get more. Working on more. I need some on my rib cage. Um, I got one on my wrist, one on my collarbone, and one on my ankle. So um words are a vibration and they also help the brain again understand, give some context to spiritual energy, right? So Gabriel, what message do you have for us? It is 2022, it is December. We are leaning into um, the end of the year, we're heading in toward Christmas week. We'll be, uh, we're about a week away from Christmas right now. Actually, exactly today. Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you have to share with us? Ah, his message is about peace. Profoundly peaceful. You choose peace. You choose it. Peace is something you choose. He says it's something you choose. It already exists, he says. Peace already exists inside of you, each one of you. And peace is something then you choose. You get to choose that. It's not a state outside of you. It is not an experience you walk into. It's not a spa room. It is you. You are peace. You get to choose that. Okay. I'm trying really hard to not let my brain interject. <laughs> so we get to choose peace. Can you give us, Gabe, can you give us some advisement as to how we can go about that? He says, you're asking for instructions. There's no how-to manual. You know this. I do. I do know this. It's much more a creative. It's what you're asking is for me to tell you how to paint by numbers to create a masterpiece of art. And even if there was a formula for peace, just like a formula for a beautiful piece of art, not one student will reflect exactly the same what the other student reflects in their art. Like if you think about a classroom and everybody's like painting and they're following the directions, right? They're all going to look different, but they're all still going to be art. Hmm. So this is, oh my gosh, this is feeling really profound to me. <laughs> what one person, what is peaceful for one person might seem like complete chaos for someone else. Within your own home, in your own family, you might have different variations as to what is peace for you. Then it's your job to maintain and be stable and steady in your own source and sense of peace. He says, you can't rely on other people to provide you with peace. He says, the restlessness that you feel comes from the mind. It creates a a um, interesting because he says solidarity. If you want peace, you must find solidarity between the mind and the heart. Call a truce. There's always competition here. 
the heart is always trying to get the attention of the mind. And the mind is always trying to stop the heart in some way or control an outcome to keep it safe. Not just the heart, but the body to keep the body safe too. Be mindful of what is happening between the mind and the heart, he says. This is where the most common disruption is for peace, your personal peace. Peace is profoundly and deeply personal. And I literally see like, oh, holy night, like the like people singing in a church and it's like dark at night and it's like uh, like a movie scene. It's like, I can see, I can see the, the white, I see the wall is white. And then I see this light blue on this window, this arched window on a church. And then through the window, there are like white figures that are like someone walking, like it looks like a shepherd walking through the snow. And then there's the star, the beautiful Christmas star above that. And he says, Gabriel says, you are guided. You are always guided. And he says, the thing is, is it's not about going anywhere. You're not being led to go someplace, to move someplace, to be productive in the human way. It's about being the best way you can be successful and happy and, and relevant intentional word used relevant in this life that you have been given is for you to be in it. And if you want things to be better, then you choose to focus on the peace in those moments. If you're sitting on at in church on Christmas Eve and you don't want to be there and you feel hypocritical or you feel frustrated or you're angry at your family or trauma or the church or structure or patriarchy or whatever you're, it is. You're stealing moments of time where you could connect with peace. Not a, a faked peace that's a product like on a shelf that you purchase, like a cereal box, like a cereal, right? It's the truest form is the moment that you choose to look at the sky, to feel the coat on your body and the clothes on your skin and to feel the connection to the moment of the reality that you've been gifted. Generously and genuinely gifted. How much time have you lost? How much time have you wasted being angry? Looking to the past for answers that do not exist and will never exist. You are wasting precious time. The peace that you seek, the completion you seek, the resolution you seek, the forgiveness that you need exists in a moment's peace, which requires your ultimate presence. To be fully realized as a soul connected through the body, your mind and your heart must unite in solidarity. And this is the time to do that, to practice that, to practice the stillness and the pause of the chaos and to allow for moments peace. Nice breath in, nice heart chakra expansion. Do you feel that? 
You can invite Archangel Raphael to step in to help your heart heal if you have healing or wounding that's coming up right now. This has been a hard time. Indeed, it has. And also, there have been harder times. There have been much more difficult times. You are such a different person than you've been before. And you might feel like you are less than. Maybe you are stripped bare because you have been gifted the opportunity to start anew. And it's all about how you look at it. It, this moment. In the present, not the past. That's the past. Oh, it will come up and show up here. But when it shows up here, then you deal with it here as the powerful and profound soul that is aligned body, mind, heart, and spirit that you are today here now. Not who you were three weeks ago, three months ago, last year at this time, four years ago, 10 years ago, 25 years ago, 37 years ago, 50 years ago. It doesn't matter. That time is gone. It's gone. And you're going to lose this one and this one and this one. You know, the future is not guaranteed. It's not faded. It's not about fate. You're not guaranteed a destiny or a path. You truly get to choose that. And the free will of the mind does come into play. Practice alignment and solidarity with the heart and the mind, and you will be so much better off and so much more peaceful in these now moments so that when you plan for the future, you're not planning based upon past fears which is almost a certain guarantee to repeat the pain. Do you want that? Do you actually want more of that? Because you shall have it. If that is what you are creating by your choices here and now, you shall have more of that. And it will be at your own hand. Nobody else's fault. You can't blame your parents. You can't blame your ex. You can't blame your country. You can't blame God. The choices are yours in the moments. And the power of peace is deeply profound if you can engage with it. But you can't when you are too busy in the mind thinking about other things, preparing for the future that is based on your past, because that's exactly what you are doing right now. You are planning your future based on your past. And you're trying to convince yourself that it's, a, it's the good, right thing to do. It's all I can do. I can't do anything else, okay? Really? With the powerful spiritual forces that you have on your side, and the archangels like Gabriel and Raphael to Metatron, Sandolphin, Ural, Raziel, Raphael, Jovial, Archangel Ariel and Hanel. Really? Is this really as good as it gets? You decide. Choose to be here now in the peaceful moments. That's what the gift of the season is about. The now. Not people, not the surroundings, not the storylines, not even the lights or the food or the memories. It's about now. Are you connected to you right now? I 
I wish you a peaceful holiday season. Thank you for being part of my life this year. With deep gratitude and peace.